Welcome to Herons on the Fly. I visited the Chittenden Lock north of Seattle to see how they work. So this is Salmon Bay. This is freshwater. And you can see the height up against the wall there. Then on this side is the Puget Sound, going out to the Puget Sound. And it, the information said it can be a difference of six to 16 feet, um, depending on the tides. So here's the ship coming in from Puget Sound and you can see the trestle bridge has been raised. They signify that they're coming through with one long horn toot and then one short toot and that signifies that they want to come up through the lock and they'll raise that bridge. Using chambers, gates, tunnels and bow. The lock master in the control tower opens and closes the large lock. Opening the miter gate allows vessels to enter the lock. The gates close after the vessel enters, which creates a chamber. The lock master then opens and closes bow, allowing water to flow in and out of the lock through tunnels. So here the miter gates are closing now that the boat is in that chamber. So if you watch closely, you can see that water level coming up pretty fast. levels out, equaled out now on both sides so they're probably going to open this gate soon. Yep, there it is. That buzzer's ringing so the gate's going to open. So this is a boat in the small lock and it is going from Salmon Bay out to Puget Sound. So it's just the reverse. So he is in that chamber and they're letting water out to equal the water on this Puget Sound side. So as soon as that lowers and is equal with that, they'll open the miter gate and the boat can sail through.
this is the spillway dam and you can walk across there and go over to the salmon ladder. So at the fish ladder, you can walk down the step and see the actual fish ladder in there. And when the salmon run is going on, I'm sure you can see tons of fish in there. There was no run when I was there, but it's very interesting. You can walk underneath and they have viewing windows that you can actually look through and see the fish. Now to the untrained eye, it can be very difficult to tell the salmon apart. But if you use the touch screens, it will really help you identify which salmon is which. And you'll get a lot more information about the salmon life cycle, uh, the importance to the economy, the vital role that salmon have played in Native American cultures. And of course, you'll also learn what we're doing to preserve and protect salmon. The botanical garden is beautiful and just surrounds the lock area. There's a lot of nice grassy areas to sit and just watch the scenery and watch the boats go through. It really is beautiful. And there is no charge to get into the garden or the lock area. So if you're in the Ballard area, it would be a great place to go visit. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. We are parents on the fly.